YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, we've got a video for you today, and we're going to show you how to connect and update the Flysky FTR10 dual antenna 10 channel flight receiver with the Flysky Noble MB4. So, first thing we're going to want to do is get WinRAR installed, because you're going to need this. So, win-raw.com and then download WinRAR don't need to buy it and it will come up with the downloads and basically select your downloads folder or anything you like once it's finished downloading just click open and then click install don't need to change any of these settings and then you're done and then close out of that one and you can close WinRAR right next thing you're going to want to do is create yourself a folder on your desktop so i've just created flysky noble mb4 and to do that you just right click new folder call it whatever you want i'll get rid of that one because i've already got the folder created so next thing flysky's website noble mb4 click on that one then you want to scroll down to downloads and upgrades scroll all the way down and you'll already have done this bit from previously updating to the 2093 so you want to come down to here and you'll see you've got mb4 receiver updater upgraded version so we click on download and then it'll take you to this page and it's just a OneDrive link and it should automatically start downloading now you can close them because they'll auto open and you can close that minimize that back down and then it'll have gone into your downloads folder so just to make things easier for yourself if you open your FlySky uh, folder that you've created on your desktop and then just move it into there keep them all in one place and you want to extract to and then the name of it then you can delete the raw folder because we don't need that anymore so you've got your update program uh, apparently this will work on mac os x and on uh, windows so we go into here and then you want to have your MB4 connected to your PC. So that's it all connected, just plugged in, fired up on USB, and you don't have to change any settings on here or anything. So, next thing, you want to open the updater program, and then you'll hear a sound from the uh, MB4. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do so if you if you already have the FTR10 bound to your receiver it'll just show you what receiver you you've got the option of and this works the same for any of these receivers so GMR uh, FGR ATOM 12 uh, FTR8 all these ones so basically any of those so what you're going to want to do is get your MB um, FTR10 and see if I can get you a picture of it so basically you're going to want to connect your bind plug in that position so the side with antennas it's the closest pins so it's between bind and the just have a look the servo socket so you want it in that position then you need to get power to your FTR10 
So, power your FTR 10 up with it in the uh, forced update position. Make sure you've got FTR 10 selected and then just select upgrade. And you'll hear a tone from the uh, MB4 and you'll see the screen changes to do not operate while ever it's doing the update and it does sort of stall for a few seconds and then it starts running through once it's done the update you find to close the program then you want to power down your FT FTR10 and then You want to put the bind plug into the bind position, which is that one. Sorry, this webcam's not uh, fantastic picture quality. And once you've got the bind plug in that position, you can then power it back up. And then on the MB4, you want to make sure you've got your model selected, what you want it on and get it named and while you're in there once you once you've gone in you can then change it to the eight channel mode uh I think it's on the model thing so make sure you've got this model definition uh, channel definition to eight and then go into rx set sorry and then bind classic bind Start bind. And that's it. A fully functioning, fully updated FTR10 connected to the MB4 on the latest firmware. All right, and uh, just to give you an idea of how we've got it set up. Um, so if I go to a sign and then that one. So we've got that set on channel eight. And basically, uh, we've got steering servo, and then on that one, I've got that servo into channel 8, so you can see that up to 8 channels work. So we've got that working, and you've got full throttle control. But thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys again in the next one.